Well, this is a typical sort of lower kibbers clay body chamber. You see the extent, the length of the body chamber. So that's the thing that the animal lived in. The rest of it, the sept of the fragment comb, is a series of subdivided chambers that were filled with sort of gas and liquid to actually water its buoyancy in the water. So that's what it lived in. So imagine this ammonite then dying, going down on the sea floor. It's a lovely receptacle for something to live in because nowadays we get hermit crabs that actually live in shells. Well, what we found is something that's been living inside there because basically what I found was a chunk of the back of the body shape, which is the fossil next to it. I could see something shiny in it. When I prepped it, it actually yielded the carapace of a little lobster. So that was interesting. So, but also the, the, the carapace was a molted sort of thing. So the rest of the animal should be there, but it wasn't. So it looked like to be what we call a molt. So if you can imagine, the, probably the lobster living inside the body chamber, but when it came to actually molt its shell, it would go right to the back of the body chamber, the darkest recesses, to actually shed its shell there, and then harden, and then it would carry on so probably living in the body chamber. Now, that was quite interesting. I thought, that must be really, really rare. And so I, I broke another body chamber, the back of the body chamber of another ammonite, and what did it yield? Another carrot face of a lobster, much smaller. So they're in all sizes, so they're molten, you know, as they grow, they, they you know, shed their shell continuously. And that's really interesting, so because again, bear in mind, I think the thing is that on the sea floor during Kimmeridgean times, especially at some times, it's pretty anoxic, not a lot of oxygen living on the sea floor. And so this proves that at certain times that there must be something living on the sea floor inside this ammonite for quite some time, okay? Also confirms the fact you see on the exterior of the body chamber worm tubes, so they must have colonised that hard substrate as well. Okay, but that's quite an interesting thing that um, no one's picked up on before.